Hi from Northern Canada, my name is Val and I'd like to share with you my experience of programming dual access solar truck controller. I have it from the eBay, paid about 140 US dollars. It came with a wind spin sensor and the remote control. So I had a hard time to program it because it came with a Google Translate from Chinese language and was really confusing. So uh, it was kind of a trial and error and I'd like to share with you how, how I programmed it. So I'm gonna meet you at the controller itself. Here's the controller. It's a dual axis solar truck controller. It has two modes. First is a manual mode and the automatic mode. Automatic mode sets uh, the parameters that allows itself to track it with the uh, movement of the sun. So to get to the manual mode you press once on set and then you are able to move the solar panel if we can step out and see how it moves with just pressing the south to north position this is the south to north posi position actuator moves right there and east to west position I have a motor with the um, with the gearbox reduction inside here and I'll make another video on how I build the whole system this video is about how I program this solar truck controller now to program it you have to press and hold a set button press and hold it for about five seconds and then it switches to program mode the first one is east to west wait time so the wait time indicates in seconds how many seconds it waits before it tracks the sun in my case i set it up to 60 seconds you can change it by pressing up and down buttons in my case it's just one minute so it waits one minute and then it moves towards the sun it came from the factory with 10 seconds which was an overkill and i think this saves the battery and the actuators and the next one is north to south so in my case because it's a dual axis i have north to south east to west some have just um, east to west but in my case it's dual next setting is the wind uh, i installed the wind control sensor a uh, wind speed sensor right there it moves with the panel and always leveled and uh, the wind setting allows me to set up where it moves when the wind start blowing to certain speeds so wind to the west movement to the west zero seconds because in my case east to west i don't need to move it but to the north i level this panel so this actuator will go down all the way down and this panel will level horizontally and it takes about 40 seconds to move you can again adjust it to um, higher or lower seconds in my case it's about 40 seconds and i gave another five seconds just in case to level this panel horizontally and again i don't need to move it to the south i need to be horizontal now the next one is a, uh, a wind lock time so when the wind start blowing over a certain speed the panel will move horizontal it's called a park position and it will lock in my case to 240 seconds which is about uh, four minutes and if wind continues continues to blow with that speed it will reset the same amount of seconds next setting is the sun low delay so when the sun low whether it's at the end of the day or a very cloudy day a panel will start counting down in my case it's 2800 and 280 2800 seconds it came with 1800 seconds so within this time if the sun doesn't come up because it's at the end of the day or a very cloudy day the panel will level to the position i want it to but if the sun comes up it will start counting or start leveling itself again or counting down to the same uh, amount of seconds next one is a sun low to east so i set it up for the morning uh, my panel takes about 100 seconds to move from west to east for the uh, morning sun 
Next one is sun low to west. Well, because we're in the northern hemisphere, we didn't need to move west in the morning, right? Uh, sun low to north. So for the morning, I set it up for this actuator to move for 45 seconds to position the panel for the morning sun. And uh, again, for the south, I don't need to move it. Uh, this is a recover time. When the panel is switched off, it takes about 10 seconds for it to start tracking. Or when the uh, low sun countdown stops, it takes again 10 seconds for it to start tracking. Next one is a precision. I didn't bother with this setting. I came with a factor with this number and I left it that way. Next one is the wind speed limits. It came, I think, with 0.2. This is a weird number. I don't know what it means, but 0.2 meant about 40 kilometers an hour speed. So I set it a bit lower so that my panel will start leveling itself up to the park position at about 35 maybe 32 kilometers an hour. I, I want it to be on a safe side. And next one is a sunshine limit. This is a really good setting. The previous model didn't have this. I'm pretty sure, maybe I'm wrong, but I think they didn't have it. This setting allows you to set up a, a sensitivity of the sun sensor when the sun start, be, start being clouded. Your solar panel will start tracking around the sky looking for sun and can kill your batteries, can kill your actuators or motors. So I said that instead of uh, zero, I, I think it came with 1.8 1. 1. and it was striking constantly. With a little cloud would make it go nuts. So I set it to 2.40. In my case, it works perfectly. So when the clouds start working on the, on the sky, uh, cover the sky this panel will just wait until the Sun comes up and will not truck so it will save the battery and will save the uh, actuators or motors and the next one is the uh, oh, well, we came to the right to the beginning where we started the east to west wait time so that's it when you are happy with your um, setting you just quit hit the quit button it saves the settings and turns sunny in two three it counts to ten and start turning to the sun and if you can step out you will see how it's gonna start turning to the sun uh, it takes about 23 seconds for the uh, axis to turn east to west and about uh, 38 seconds for the north to south this whole system operates on 12 volt so my battery bank in the trailer is 24 volt but I have to install install two separate panels that um, there you go it's tracking right now and about uh, one second I'm gonna start tracking this way That's it. So again, the system operates in 12 volt. My actuator and my motor inside operates in 12 volt. So I have three 7.5 amps uh, security batteries inside there and a very cheap solar charge controller from the eBay. I think I purchased it for about eight, nine dollars US. And two little panels that charge those batteries. Works perfect. So far, no problems. Um, and that's it probably about this video. If you have any comments or any suggestions, please uh, put in comments below. I'd like to improve on this panel. This is my first experience. <laughs> I'm really surprised it works. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting it to work, but anyways, I'm not an electrician. Uh, it's a disclaimer. Uh, first time experience. And uh, in the next video, I'll show how I build the, the tracker itself and the other video i will dedicate how i build the system inside my trailer with a 24 volt uh, charge controller okay thank you have a great day